tonight after months of accusations, counter accusations and defense of an Indian conglomerate, the Adani Group, President William Ruto has canceled all engagements with the Adani Group affecting two critical projects affecting the transport and energy sectors of the country worth a combined 356 billion shillings. Addressing a joint sitting of parliament, President Ruto has, has canceled the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport expansion project, which was at an advanced stage of consideration. He has also ended the building of electricity transmission lines by the Adani Group, a project that was to cost 95 billion shillings in a public-private partnership arrangement. The president attributed his decision to new information received from partner states, now directing the two ministries to move with speed and identify alternative partners to execute the projects. Stephen Leto reports. President William Ruto has put the last nail on the proverbial coffin of the Adani deal, an arrangement that will have handed East Africa's largest international airport, as well as the Kenya electricity transmission company Ketraco, to the Indian-based firm. <laughs> President Ruto telling the bicameral parliament that new information from investigative agencies and partner nations were key determinants. Honorable members, I have stated in the past and now reiterate today that in the face of undisputed evidence or credible information on corruption, I will not hesitate to take decisive action. Subsequently, President Ruto told MPs that the Kenyan government has arrived at a decision to end Adani deals in Kenya, both at the aviation and energy sectors. I have directed agencies within the Ministry of Transport and the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum to immediately cancel the ongoing procurement process for JKI expansion public-private partnership transaction, as well as the recently concluded Ketrago transmission in public... <laughs> The Adani deals were already facing parliamentary scrutiny with the Public Investment Committee on Commercial Affairs bringing in Auditor General Nancy Gadungu to conduct a forensic audit Thursday morning, hours before the President delivered his State of the Nation address in a GCS of Pio Wandai had appeared to lean towards continuation of the Adani Ketrako deal despite indictments in bribery and corruption in America. The second limb of that question is could these bribery or corruption claims have a bearing on our own process? To my knowledge, Honorable Chair, there has been no case of corruption or bribery in so far as this PIP of Adani Energy Solutions is concerned. And immediately commence the process of onboarding alternative partners because these are important projects. <laughs> Honorable members, the work of taking our nation forward is our collective responsibility as citizens. For this reason, we value the contribution of all, whether they come in the form of support or encouragement, suggestion or proposal, criticism or protest. The president defended the Adani Ketrako deals in October with ODM leader NAUC candidate Rilo Odinga having defended the deals a few days before the president. The Adani group are investing in the transmission line, their money, 95 billion. We would have otherwise gone to borrow that money, burden the people of Kenya. This is now a private sector investment, the same way Keshan here is a private sector investment, the same way Socian is a private sector investment, we will pay for that uh, transmission line using a, a, a willing charge. That has been negotiated. Adani, Mr. Adani company, conglomerate is worth over $200 billion. It cannot be an Adani gate. De deal with the issues as they are. If some people have made mistakes, let them own up that they made some mistakes. But do not begin to condemn innocent. 
with their dannies now forced to take off, President Ruto has called for high standards of procurement, devoid of corruption and suspect dealings. With President William Ruto's administration having faced public condemnation over the private-public partnership, particularly with their dani group, he has now moved to restore public confidence. But the question is, how much will the constellation cost the taxpayer? Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Parliament Buildings, Nairobi.